Okay, beauties, I'm going to hop right in. Before I started filming, I did go ahead and prep my hair by adding four cornrows in the front and then split down the middle. I just plaited the two braids. I'm going to pin those up with a large bobby pin and we're going to get started. Now, I'm obsessed at this point with doing braidless because it's just so easy and very time efficient. Um, but I guess eventually I'll go back and kind of switch it up a little bit just to give you guys a variety. I do still like the braidless, but I love, um, I do still like using the braids, but I love the braidless because it's quick and easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and put on my mesh cap and just begin to add my crochet braids. Now I'm using the free trust go-go curl in 12 inches. Okay. Um, so yeah, yeah. I'm going to just go in. I pull each section of hair apart once. If it is a larger section, I'll do it twice, okay? So yeah, we're going to get right into the video. So you definitely want to get, if you uh, decide to do the cornrows in the front, you definitely want to get as close to the cornrows as possible. It will make for a seamless transition to go from the braidless to the cornrows. And then after that, I'm going to take my scissors and clip around the cornrows. Now, once you clip it, the, um, the mesh cap is going to kind of like spring down and just cut any excess off but other than that I usually just leave mine honestly because the hair covers it so um, I guess you can make that decision on on what you decide to do in the cap cut it off if it's not just leave it be it's really not that serious okay once I get to the cornrows I'm going to be doing the invisible party me method so I insert my latch hook pull it through and instead of putting both pieces through the loop I put one piece through the loop and then bring the other piece over the top to cover the cornrow um, I think it's very important to um, do this in the front because it makes it look more natural. But I mean, if you don't mind, 
you could just do it the regular way as well. I just chose, and I always choose to do the invisible parting space because it just looks more natural in my opinion. So that is it. I'm going to go ahead and finish that, trim it up, and you guys will see the end result. Okay, you guys, so here are the end results. I think I did pretty good for the most part, but I did go in and clean it up. As you can see, I still have a few strings, which I did not realize until I am actually editing. But anyway, I still go back and fix it because with a short style, you... So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. These are the final results. As you can definitely tell, I'm definitely feeling myself. I absolutely love the results. If you guys are interested in this hair, I will leave the link down below. And let me know if you guys will possibly like a giveaway on of this hair. Speaking of giveaways, I do have one going on right now. It is not too late to enter. So go over to the um, video title, You Have to Try This Hair. It is a straight hair crochet braid. I mentioned everything that you have to do in that video to enter the giveaway that is going on now. And again, if you guys would like me to give away this hair, um... Maybe on the next one or like a lace front or something. I don't know. Maybe like a nail kit. I don't know what the giveaway is going to be. But um, if I don't give it away this time, I will definitely give it away another giveaway time if that makes sense. So I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, turn on your notification bells, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next video.